we are going to try to understand, no, we are going to understand end behavior by the end of this video. Yep, that was corny. I sort of liked it though. Okay, look at your graph. You see your X's? As I look to the right of my graph, my X's are going to get bigger and bigger. They could be 100. They could be 200. They could be a million. They are going to go on and on and on. As I look to the right of my graph, they are going to approach infinity. That little arrow means approach. Can I ever get to infinity? No. I'm going to approach infinity. Look to the left. What are these X's doing? Well, they get smaller and smaller. It'd be negative 100, negative 200. The X's on the left are approaching negative infinity. So when I first look at the graph, when I'm looking to the right, these X's are getting bigger, bigger, bigger. When I look to the left, these X's are getting smaller, smaller, smaller to negative infinity. In fact, some books will just say, they will talk about, when they say X approach positive infinity, they'll talk about on the right side. And then as X is approaching negative infinity, they'll say on the left side. I'm going to draw a graph. I'm going to have a cubic graph. Down, cubic, that means two turns. We'll talk about that later. One, two. This is a negative cubic, X to the third. That's my graph. What's happening to my graph? The picture of this graph, the Y's, or if I want to really sound smart, I'm going to talk about the F of X. What is it doing? In this case, as my X's are approaching positive infinity, that means look to the right. What's my graph doing? It's going down, down, down. My Y's, my F of X, my graph, it's falling or it's going to negative infinity. Some books will say it's falling. Let's look to the left. Or, as x is approaching negative infinity, what's my graph doing? Which is my f of x. What are my f of x approaching? Well, on the left side, as my x's are getting smaller, 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 my graph, which is my f of x? It is going up, 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 which means it's going to positive infinity. Some books will say that it is rising. This graph is actually an x to the fourth, a positive. So my question to you, as my x's are approaching positive infinity, my f of x is approaching positive infinity. Correct. As I look to the right of this picture, this graph, this coordinate plane, my f of x, my y's, yes, they are rising. They are going to positive infinity. As I look to the left, my x's, are approaching negative infinity. What are my f of x doing? Remember f of x is just a fancy way to say y. So as my x's are approaching negative infinity, my f of x, which are my y's, are getting larger. They are, are approaching positive infinity, which once again we can also know that is rising. So in this picture, the end behavior, the end of my graph, is that not a great way to call the end of the graph? It's just end behavior. How is it behaving at the end? Makes sense to me. Well, it's rising on the left and the right. Okay, let's talk about just the general shape of graphs. If I have x to the first, in other words, if I had y is equal to you know, 3x plus 7. X to the first is my highest degree of this binomial. Actually, it's my only variable. That's a line. And X is positive, so I know that it's going up. It has a positive slope. A negative X to the first. Well, that would be an equation with this, except it would have a negative in front. That line would start from high, and it would go low because a negative in front of that means it has a negative slope. Another way people talk about this is x to the first, there are no curves. x squared, it has one turn or curve. Negative x squared opens down. If you are studying end behavior, 
You've probably already worked on parabolas, so you knew that if the largest degree was an x squared, that it was quadratic, that it is a parabola. And a positive opens up, a negative opens down. x to the third, it has two curves. Ready? One, two. It starts low, it ends high. Just like the x to the first starts low and it ends high. A negative x to the third is going to start high, one, two curves, and it's going to end low. x to the fourth, three curves, one, two, three. Negative x to the fourth, three curves, one, two, three, but it will open down. x to the fifth, four curves, and it's positive, so I will start low, one, two, three, four. Negative x to the fifth, I will start high. Four curves, one, two, three, four. X to the sixth, one, two, three, four, five. Negative x to the sixth. <whistles> okay, and that is my art. Let's notice the end behavior. All of these that I have in the top row are odd exponents, and the end behaviors, do you notice one end is up and one end is down. Do you notice when the exponent is even? Both ends are up or both ends are down. Okay, so what I'm trying to do with end behavior is first of all I taught you how to describe the end behavior and second of all I'm trying to get you used to what should the shape of that graph look like? Maybe I don't know exactly where it crosses or touches and turns. What is the shape of the graph? Let's work a problem. I want you to tell me the end behavior of this function. f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. I didn't say graph it. I just want to know what the end behavior is. Well, first of all, what's the general shape? It's a positive x squared. So I know x squared has one curve and it's positive so I know that it's going to open up. As my x's are approaching positive infinity, my f of x is also approaching positive infinity. As my x's are approaching negative infinity, my f of x is approaching positive infinity. We could also say, as I look to the right of my graph, my graph is rising, it's going up, up, up. As I look to the left of my graph, my y's or my f of x are going up again. They're rising on both ends. I had this problem, f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 5. Tell me about the end behavior. Well, I need to draw it. This is an x cubed. So I know it's going to have two curves, and it's positive, so it's going to start low, and it's going to end high. So that's just a shape of my graph. Well, as my x's are approaching positive infinity, it looks like my f of x is also approaching positive infinity. As my x's are approaching negative infinity, it looks like my f of x is also approaching negative infinity. Let's talk about the end behavior of this graph. Looks like I have a couple of vertical asymptotes. Now that's left for another video. And this red line should really go right beside that. Doesn't actually get to 2. And I, it looks like I have another vertical asymptote at negative 2. Now once again, we are just talking about end behavior now. So let's look at this graph. So as my x's are approaching positive infinity, that means I'm looking to the right, what are my f of x, my graph, doing? Well, guys, when I look to the right, as far to the right as I can see, my graph is not going up. It's not going down. It's just sort of leveling off. It's approaching zero. Okay, so we have a horizontal asymptote here at y equals zero. Well, my graph doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it just sort of approaches zero. This is where my y's are zero. My y's are heading to zero. They are approached zero. Do they get to zero? No. As 
my x's are approaching negative infinity, that means look to the left, look to the left, look as far as you can to the left. What's my graph doing, my f of x? Well, once again, it's not going up, it's not going down, it's approaching zero. Now look at these vertical asymptotes. It looks like I have one at, you may not be able to see that, that's negative two and positive two. Now that's the x. Okay, so what if I ask you, as x approaches two, ooh, and there's a plus sign. Someone will always ask me if that's a typo. No, it's not a typo. If you ask me that, I know you didn't study for the test. This means as x is approaching two from the right side, from the positives. First of all, you have to find where x is two. I'm supposed to get really close to two. Really, really close to two. Here I come, here I come, getting close to two. Don't get to two, I say approach two. Why am I coming from this side? Well, it said come from the right, come from the positives. When I get really, really close to two, from the right side, what is my f of x doing? My graph? It looks like it's going to positive infinity. When I get really, really close to two, coming from the right side, my f of x, my graph, is going up, 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 up to positive infinity. Okay, what if I asked you, as x is approaching two from the left, that's what this little negative sign means, from the negatives. What is my f of x? What is my graph doing then? Well, first of all, find two. When x is two, it's right there. I'm getting close to two. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm coming towards two from the left side. I'm almost there. Stop. What is my graph doing? My f of x. It looks like this red line is going down, down, down. It looks like it is approaching negative infinity. Okay, good luck on understanding end behavior.